Hey everyone, this is Battery Blade and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the EV Dance Level 2 Portable Charger. It is 40 amps, app enabled, and even has a screen on it that has all sorts of information like your charging speed, the total amount of power output, and um, the Wi Fi and your voltage and other cool stuff like that on the screen. It's also got 25 feet. Uh, it's 9.6 kilowatts, so 40 amps, IP66, and then of course there's the QR code to download that app. If you already ordered one, you could get that app downloaded now, but it really takes like 10 seconds. And yeah, that is the outside of the box. There's also stuff over here so you can see everything. It's of course adjustable current right here. And then you can um, change the adjustable current on the charger itself. Now you might be able to do that on the app too. We'll have to check that out later in the video to see what you can actually do from the app. Then inside the box, charging faster than you think. And inside, got our um, nothing else, just empty box. And then straight into the product. Got a nice carrying case, which out of the way, carrying case, nice and heavy, support lots of weight, doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything like that. Very, very thick and big. Inside, we got our charger. Ooh, it does look like it comes with a mounting plate, so you can keep this as a home charger. So I, you can just mount this to the wall, put this unit up there, and boom, you got a uh, smart enabled home charger, which for the price, actually a pretty good home charger um and then of course it's also portable so you can take it with you wherever you go and unplug it let's actually see what the charger itself looks like the charger itself it's got another app qr code right there so downloading the app it's nice and easy to find right there and also you got the actual charger itself so i guess you guys can register my charger to your app if you want I reviewed a few EV Dance chargers before and always love their handle. It's the same one as their extension cord. I like it. Good protection. And then so that way you don't drop it on the latch. But that latch is plastic. Charger is plastic. Inside, it's got a nice weather seal. And it's even got good grip here. Overall, I like it. It's also got rubber right here so you're not putting too much pressure on the cord that's going in. I think it's a pretty good design. Overall, pretty solid. It's put together well. I like it. Um, but yeah, just peel off this sticker. That is nice. I love that. The screen. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's definitely not going to turn on not being plugged in the wall. You got this LED here, which is tells you a lot of information. But then you also got the display over here that's got way more info. All right, so as you can see, this is a NEMA 1450 unit, which and it can put 40 amps. So that's the maximum power the outlet can give, which is good. Not too much, not too little. And of course, you can adjust it, as I've said many times, so that's good. But what I do wish is that it would come with an adapter and that it was dual level so you could plug it into a normal household outlet. I think that's a miss. Nevertheless, NEMA 1450, still a great connection. And you got, they sell plenty of other level one chargers, so not a big deal. I have another level one charger I'm keeping in my car, and plus it's not advertising anywhere as a level one charger. It's just level two portable charger, and then you can adjust the current, but it is 240 volts only, as far as I'm aware. Right, yeah, pretty big uh, instructions page. Yes, this is showing you how to set up the app. I didn't have any problem setting up the app without it. Pretty simple. You give them your yeah, email or your phone number, make a password. Then I guess this is to connect it to your app. It's also on the charger itself. So I'm glad they have it in more than one spot. You're like pin code and stuff. Because when I was trying to set my Tesla wall connectors to their app, Tesla only keeps it in one spot at the manual. Uh, large instructions page, got lots of stuff, mostly 
uh, how to log in and sign on for their app. This is how to add your charger. Luckily, the adding charger should be easy enough. It's on the, the uh, instructions right there. And then it's also on the back of your charger by this little QR code to bind your charger, your app, which I like that they include that on their charger makes it really easy compared to some products like Tesla wall connectors that it's only in their instruction manual and most people throw away instruction manuals. So I'd say that's say definitely a plus. I like that about this charger so far. And then you also got even more instructions like how to start charging it, how to stop charging it, all stuff I think you can figure out. But yeah, so overall, this is product overview. Let's see, 50 amp circuit breakers, what it's meant for. So, yes, see. This is the cable management system that it comes with. Um, it works, it can get the job done, um, but it's definitely plastic and kind of cheap. Um, and there's really nothing spectacular about it. At least it protects the uh, connector from being wet in the outdoors if it's mounted outdoors. And your connector locks in there with the lock right there. Um, and then it has a spot to wind the cable. So, and this lip looks big enough right here. So you, I really can't complain too much. Um, but yeah, if you already have a cable management system, it might be better. But still you definitely get a lot for a great price <laughs> all right now we can actually get to testing the charger because i got nothing left in here everything you see on the table comes with the charger in the box you got the box screws and then of course there's also the mounting plate which is already mounted to the wall and not on this table and then even the cable dining system so overall, in this package, you're getting a lot. This is a good portable charger for uh, to keep in your car in case friends have these outlets or campgrounds have it. Even Air Airbnbs a lot of times will have 1450 outlets. So it's like definitely a good charger to keep in your car or works pretty well as a uh, home charger, assuming it goes well in testing um, because of the app features and they included the mounting system and stuff. So yeah, overall, I'm liking what this comes with, good value. And then it's even got a cap right here, which I also like that you can keep your uh, connections dust free. So you can see mounting system right here that you can just slide it in and out, take it out of your system and then take it with you if you need to charge somewhere. And oh, look at the person who mounted it. They It doesn't fit into that outlet. It's for the extension down there, right there. Okay, there we go. Yep. And then, of course, it also comes with a uh, cable management system right here. You can see the cable management system. I like it. It clicks in nice doing this. Ignore the fact that I'm holding it to the wall. It does come with screws, but I did not screw it in yet. But this works. It's not too difficult to plug it in. Um, it's pretty self-aligning. So... Cable system, I give it like a six out of 10, nothing special, but it works, gets the job done. But for now, cable's gonna go on the floor. Let's try and plug in my car and see if the charger works, which it should. I haven't set it up to any app yet. I've only like created an account on the app and actually linked it to you yet. So, I would still expect it to work off the gates. Bits. Is my car charging? Yes, it is. And then you can see over here on the charger display, which is actually pretty nice. It's showing us I'm getting full um, 33 amps right now, and it can deliver up to uh, 40. Got the temperature display right there, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, American units. Don't ask me Canadian units or the rest of the world. Psh, I don't know those. Uh, kilowatts and everything right there. 
You can also see there's like a delay charging feature on there. We even have a amperage feature right here so you can change the charging amps. EV that accepts J1772 or it can also work with Teslas if you have the um, adapter. So compatible with all, even if your car can't accept 40 amps, your car will just ask for 32. That's why you are seeing that my car is charging at 32 amps and not the full 40. The other feature that it says it has is delayed charging. So I believe you can set a delay by holding down here. And this is how many hours after you plug it in. So like if you know you get home at 5 p.m., you can delay it by like five hours and start charging at 10. So you can see that my car will start charging once the timer reaches zero. So it's a cool charger. It's a cool feature that if this is the uh, charger you're getting, then I definitely recommend using some sort of delay so that way you can get the cheapest electricity rates as it's definitely a lot cheaper to charge at nighttime and it's plenty fast to get you there in the morning. So now let's just show how easy it is. Once you load in the app, you click add charger. So scan QR code, you go to the back of your charger and boom, easy as that. Then it's asking you for the pin code. All right, so now that we're in the app, we scan the um, QR code that has that. I guess don't throw away your manual after all the pin was in there. Um, you click your Wi-Fi, you get it set up. And then you can see right here, it's got all the same information that's on your um, display. That is showing your energy, your session duration, and your current. Um, let's actually connect it to our vehicle. Also, you can see now on the charger, our Wi-Fi is green and the Bluetooth is green, which means we're connected and we are linked. Now you can even slide to stop it from charging from the app. Pretty cool. Um, you can even adjust the current from the app. Let's do only 8 amps. Let's, we say we don't want to trip a circuit breaker or we have a really tiny circuit breaker. Do 8 amps and that's what it's going to be charging at which I think are all pretty good features and very impressive for the price point. Um, let's see the, yep, so this is the delayed charging setup is only allowed when charging is, is paused, which I knew that. Um, but yeah, can you add a schedule? Yes, you can. Okay, so you can actually create a weekday and a weekend schedule and stuff which I think that this is a super cool feature. I'm really glad that their smart enabled charger actually has this, which is way better than a um, delayed charging. And that way you can really utilize those lower power rates. So getting a charger like this will definitely end up saving you money if you don't have a charger that uh, has that delay in, especially if you're in a place that really charges a lot for power, like California, but even in Michigan, it definitely makes a difference what time you charge at. And then of course, you also have your charging record here. So stuff like that, total energy and cost and everything like that. So I, I like the app, um, works just fine. Target charge quantity. Oh, so that's cool. I guess if you want to pretend you're at a gas station and only put in 15 kilowatt hours, you can do that. In conclusion, I think it's got a lot of nice features. It's got a lot of use cases all wrapped up in one package and it's pretty affordable too. So I think it's definitely a pretty good deal out there. If you're in the need for one, I definitely recommend this one. So the, the only thing I wasn't like super thrilled with is of course, it's very plasticky, but it's not really a big deal, especially if it's mounted, you're not touching it. The other thing is also like, it's not too heavy. The cable isn't too thick. I think it's on all right size. Um, but definitely compared to like a Tesla wall connector, this thing's tiny as a home unit, but isn't the smallest portable unit out there, but it, it's a good size still.
And I think the touch buttons, I do wish they had a little more feedback. Um, it isn't super intuitive that you got to hold it, but you, you'd figure it out. There's also the instruction manual. But I, I guess I do like that you can't just like accidentally tap it. You got to hold. Um, the display is easy to read. Um, I think the display is also bright enough. So it should be readable even on a really sunny day. Uh, I do like that it says the amperage is really big too. So you can see that from a distance. The Wi-Fi and all that being green. You can also glance at a distance, see it's green instead of red when it wasn't connected. It's even got the temperature sensor in it, which I thought that's a really unique touch because obviously you expect a temperature sensor in a charger, but to actually have it on display, that's cool. With the cabling, there's nothing exposed. It lo looks as waterproof as it claims. No problems like that. The outlet itself was also good enough to plug in. Lastly, the only other thing to consider that's a negative is just that it's a um, 240 volt charger only and not a uh, dual level one and level two. So no uh, 120 volt outlet. Like I wish it came with an adapter so you could do that. Like um, some of the other 240 volt chargers they sell, they come with the level one adapters. That way you can use it for both. Other than that, if you're just buying it for a level two charger to either keep in your car as a portable one or just to keep at your house or like to use as your everyday home charger, good for that. It's also good as just like your permanent home charger, you know, and to just have the ability to slide it out of the wall and to just pick it up, take it with you whenever you move. Like, that's nice. So that's my thoughts on it so far. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments or if you have any questions, I'll make sure to answer it for you. That was my review of the EV Dance Level 2 Portable 40 Amp Smart Unit. Uh, link's gonna be in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. Any questions, either watch one of my videos or, you know, read the instructions. Probably read the instruction manual. Nah, definitely leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'm better.